USMCA, TPP, CPTPP, so many acronyms for free trade agreements. A recent event held for farmers understanding the importance of those agreements. We get more from Bryce Duskett. That's right, Susan. Those trade agreements are vital to American farmers and ranchers. According to Farmers for Free Trade, the United States exports 50% of major commodities such as corn, wheat, and soybeans. During the National Corn Growers Association's Corn Congress held last week, participants had the opportunity to learn more about trade in a trade school. Ted Schrock is a farmer from Elm Creek, Nebraska. It's 330 million people in the U.S., but we grow enough food for 2.2 billion and things need to keep moving and it's 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 an issue right now so be, be nice to get you USMCA passed and uh, then move on to TPP in Japan and our other issues. Catherine Jones a recent graduate from the University of Nebraska Lincoln says the trade school was insightful. I've always kind of had an interest in trade and policy and this was one of the first conferences and seminars I've attended where it really helped me kind of wrap my head around trade and policy and um, it was really nice to get a background of where trade started in the United States and how it's impacted agriculture along the way um, and kind of where they see it going and um, they really gave us a step-by-step -step process of how trade is um, negotiated in the United States so it was really helpful to kind of lay the groundwork when discussing trade um, with those who don't know a whole lot about it or think they do and um, want to know a little more. More than 70 farmers, state staff, and college students interested in agriculture participated in the 2019 trade school. And in the coming weeks ahead, U.S. ethanol plants will sharply cut down on their output. Reuters says it's due to a steep rise in Midwest corn prices and the U.S.-China trade dispute, which have all led to weak margins and oversupply. That's a look to your news. I'm Susan Littlefield on the World Radio Network. This is Jane. She thinks she's just filling her car, but she's also filling the air with cancer-causing toxic chemicals used to boost octane and gas. What doesn't burn in the engine enters the air and your lungs, even your heart and brain. Bad for everyone, especially kids. Ethanol is a natural octane booster, clean burning and non-toxic. More ethanol means less scary stuff in our gas and in the air we breathe. And that makes your choice pretty plain. Jane, American Ethanol. Cleaner air for Nebraska.